second. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We are already making lot of Arduino tutorials and projects for beginners and also I'm getting good response. In my tutorials, I usually use a computer to edit and upload the program. But some of our viewers don't have computer but still want to follow our tutorials. I have already received many questions on the same topic. So today I thought of making a video on how to use your smartphone to edit and upload Arduino program. I hope this will be very useful to many of you guys. Make sure you follow the complete video till the end. Among many applications available in Play Store for Arduino programming, I found this Arduino Droid is comparatively better and also it has options similar to the computer version. I'll open Play Store and search for Arduino Droid. If you get the option to download, you can directly go with it. But for me, it's showing a message saying only supports for older version. So if you get this error, you can directly use the APK download link from my video description. So I have already downloaded the APK file from the same link, just installing it. Once you open the app, you get some features and user guide. So you can go through these pages. Once it starts, we have to give the allow option for the file access. This is the editor window where you can write your program. Also at the top, we get some options. Save, compile, upload, serial monitor, and these are the options under navigation button. In order to show the steps for uploading, I'll directly use the LED blink program from the examples. For that, go to navigation button, sketch, examples, basics, blink. So this is LED blink code. By default, it uses the built-in LED of the Arduino board. So we can't directly upload the code. First, we have to compile it. So this is the option we have to use. So once you click, it starts compilation. Up to this point, there's no issues even if you don't connect the board to your phone. So now I have taken this Arduino Uno board, which we have to connect before using the upload option. Additionally, you have to purchase this USB to Type-C converter to connect with your phone. Just connect it and click on this upload option. It automatically detects the board and asks for upload permission. You can give OK. Uploading finished and we can see the LED blinking on the board. You can also do changes in this editor window. I'm making the delay as 100 to make the LED blink faster. Save changes.
compile and upload again Till here we saw how to use the example program and upload to the Arduino board. Now I'll also show how you can upload any existing Arduino.ino code file. For that, go to navigation button, sketch, open from device so here you have to browse the path where you have kept the dot ino files so i have already downloaded the automatic plant watering system code i'll select the same so it automatically comes into the editor window so here in this code we have used the liquid crystal library for i2c lcd module I have not yet installed this library so it is already showing an error. To install the libraries go to navigation button libraries here manage libraries. In the first install tab you can see all the libraries which are already present in your device. To install the new ones go to available tab here it directly gets from the server you can search for the required libraries so i'll search for i2z lcd and you can directly click this download option so it says installed now we'll go back to the editor window and again compile the sketch now it has compiled successfully now we can proceed with the upload option and now the sketch is uploaded successfully so this is all the basics you need to understand to use your smartphone for Arduino programming I hope all the steps are clear if you still have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. And for more Arduino tutorials and projects, subscribe to our channel and also follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching. I'll be back in another interesting one.